Good morning and welcome to In the Kitchen with Alice. Today's subject matter will be what kind of produce do we purchase for ourselves and bring into our kitchens to make the best health that we can have. I want to tell you a very exciting subject today. Today's presentation is about the fruits and vegetables that we bring into our kitchen. To me, this is the best food that one can bring to feed oneself, one's family and friends. In nature, the most colorful things attract us immediately by their vibrance and their color. And those are the fruits. Fruit sugar is one of the most transforming and vital elements that we can put in our bloodstream. The fruit sugars give us the greatest carbohydrate and they give us the most energy. So all of a sudden life becomes filled with what is basically transformed by the sun on the tops of trees. So when you bring your fruits or, or on the bushes, if you're speaking about berries, but if you bring your fruits into the kitchen and you present them in a way that is like looking into a garden, then you will see that you are naturally attracted to the things that will give you more vitality, more clarity, more strength, and give you really the blood sugar um, carbohydrates that you need to live uh, every day, and they will improve your health. What I've found over time is that people who eat more of a plant-based diet, mostly fruits and vegetables, uh, become transformed in a very short amount of time. They can turn around conditions that where you don't address nutrition, those conditions can last years and actually become worse. What I find is when people take fruits and vegetables as their primary nutrition, they become well in, in short order. And there are people who I have followed for many decades who have thousands of people following them. And those people have the stories that tell that all of these conditions that we are told can't be changed can be changed. We have the strength and the power to change our lives. And mostly it's done by the beautiful produce, fruits and sugars, fruit sugars and vegetables that we can find where we used to in the gardens and farmers um, farms in our area. If you do not have a farmer in your area, you should find the local wholesaler. These people are bringing in fruits and vegetables, sometimes from all over the world, but at prices that are really amazingly uh, accessible to all of us. And so I suggest that you find a wholesaler in your, in your area and that you support your local farmers. Our presentation today uh, is really how to bring in the fruits and vegetables that come from your area, uh, your local farmer, your wholesaler, a very good place to shop for fr fresh produce, and to stock your refrigerator so you can begin to heal. Uh, many of us are suffering from different conditions and really nutrition is the way that can turn some, th some of the conditions around in such short order, it's amazing. I have been following about 12 people on the front line of alternative health in America for decades. And what I want to say about learning from those people is all of them speak about fresh produce, a plant-based diet, and actually the freshest food and often the most local food that you can find is the best way to heal yourself and to find, even if you don't have any health conditions, to find the most vitality. What you will see in this refrigerator is that many of the shelves are stocked with fruit. We have many fruits in Florida. Many of these fruits grow in our neighborhoods. I want to say about fruit is that it is one of the most primary ways to lift your own uh, life by eating produce that will give you the blood sugar and the carbohydrates that you need to feel vitality, to feel alive, to feel um, renewed, and actually to have pain uh, be reduced. I have watched many hundreds of people heal from having just introduced them to fresh produce and a mostly uh, plant-based diet. So let me present to you here that we have watermelon, fresh water, pineapple here, and papaya, 
and there's a winter squash in the back. We can grow squashes here in Florida, no problem. Many things grow here. And then a young coconut and corn, which can be prepared raw. It can be eaten raw or it can be cooked. And here we have plums and grapes. Green and red apples. Here we are. And peaches and lemons in the back. And what I want to say about some of this produce is these are wonderful containers that you can get uh, all around the country, the container store and Walmart, anywhere that you would prefer to go. And each bowl comes with a lovely lid. So if you wanted to be able to open a piece of fruit and then cover it with a lid, one could do that very easily. Um, and it's a wonderful way to keep your fruit and still be able to see the beautiful colors that attract us to the foods that we need to be eating. Here we have our greens, romaine lettuce and kale, um, two heads of parsley and some scallions, our scallions. And even further down, we have bok choy and our beautiful um, our beautiful beets and the beet greens. And in this drawer, I wanted to show you some interesting root vegetables that can be very, very helpful, both medicinally and used in juicing. This is the burdock root, which has most of its nutrition in the skin, which is also true of carrots. Um, many uh, of the root vegetables, you really don't want to peel them. You want to give a good scrub so the dirt falls off and then you can just go ahead and use it just like it is. And that really has most of the nutrition right in its outer layers. And this daikon, wonderful for cleansing. So I just wanted to show you some of the root vegetables. And in our lower drawer, we have carrots and onions and potatoes and cabbage. So all of these vegetables that are round are very helpful for all of the round organs in the center of the body. Our root vegetables give us strength and help our nerves. And our fruits give us the carbohydrates we need. Now those who are eating grains and maybe sprouting them, the grains need to be chewed very, very well for the human saliva to turn them into the kind of blood sugar we need, like they are in their fresh form in the fruits, naturally. Okay. On this shelf here, we have grapefruit, which we have plenty of in Florida, and oranges. So you see from this presentation that most of the food that ought to be going in our refrigerators are the foods that have come from the garden, the local farmer, and perhaps you grew up on a farm, perhaps your grandparents had farms, um, perhaps you grew up with a garden and my ebook will go into some of those practices of starting to create some gardening oneself and allowing um, perhaps a whole bunch of pots outside the back door to be filled with things that you could prepare a quick salad with herbs and greens and uh, so this is what we will be doing ongoingly in in the kitchen with Alice introducing you to the foods that will make you well. So just in closing, I want to offer that when you go to the store, you now go to the produce section, you go to your local farmer, or you find out from someone like myself or someone else in your area, you find out who are the wholesalers that are selling beautiful fruits and vegetables at a price that most of us could afford quite easily and could feel quite comfortable stocking an entire refrigerator with the most beautiful fruits and vegetables from our area. I want to also say in closing that the ebook I mentioned at the start of the presentation will be coming out soon. It describes the steps and the information that are part of an ongoing 12-week workshop. So there's ongoing enrollment into that 12-week and the ebook will describe many things about not only finding the fruits and vegetables that are most beneficial to your health, but also growing them. So thank you so much and have a wonderful day.